As a teacher, it's your responsibility to educate your students. And if you are an educator who incorporates technology into the classroom, you should also educate your students in the responsible use of that technology. Having technology in the classroom to assist in student learning is a good beginning, but it's up to you to plan strategies and manage student learning. If you aren't fortunate to have one computer for every student in the classroom, then it's up to you to plan your students' access to the technology. Try to determine how much time each student will need to complete the assignment and plan time accordingly. Using centers is one way to allow students to work both on and off the computer, allowing enough time for each student to access the software and resources. Students who are not using the computer can plan their usage, make lists of what they want to accomplish, or write initial assignments by hand so as not to use valuable computer time with preliminary drafts. If students are working in groups, try allowing each group access to a single computer to better utilize the resources and the time available. Because it's important to keep the technology functional, it's also up to you to instruct students in the proper use of the technology. Turn off the CD player when not in use. Use the proper shutdown procedure when finished with the computer. Turn off the light in the microscope to prolong the bulb life. Food and drink should not be allowed near equipment. If you show students how to care for the equipment, then they can help you prolong the life of that equipment. In the area of software, it's important to impress upon students the ethical, cultural, and societal concerns that surround software. You must impress upon them the reason for copyright laws and how those laws affect software. These days, it's easy to get your hands on software that is not licensed to you. As an instructor and a role model, it's incumbent upon you to relay responsible software usage to your students. Be sure that you are using properly licensed software. Remember that licensing doesn't only apply to software. In many cases, it also applies to MP3s, pictures, movies, videos, books, and some website text. Although in some instances you may be protected under the fair use rule, you and your students need to be careful to get permission to reuse content when necessary much of it may fall under copyright laws. Let's take a moment to review what has been covered so far. When you are done, click Next to continue. Finally, as a role model, it is important that you portray a positive attitude toward technology. If you show frustration or disdain for a particular item of hardware or software, you are teaching your students that technology is more of an obstacle than a useful tool. Students learn by example. Make sure you give them a positive example to follow. Be sure to impress upon your students that technology in the classroom can be fun. For example, give an open assignment that requires the use of technology and allow the students to choose which technology they want to use. Encourage them through your assignments to explore the web, make recordings of themselves, and explore the technology that is available to them. This positive attitude toward technology will serve them well their entire lives. Teaching the responsible use of technology is important in any classroom where technology is used. By better educating your students about how technology should be used, you enable them to be better lifelong learners, collaborators, and productive users. Here are some real-life examples of how the concepts discussed in this lesson could be used in a classroom, either as a teaching tool or an administrative aid.